You, you know, you know, when you talked about like how um, I, I, I was kind of getting to think about it, and I've thought about it this way before, but all the other sports help make you a better football player. But but the other sport, if you play football, it doesn't necessarily make you a better baseball player. I guess if that makes sense. So no, I agree. So so what happens is I I, I thought about this because uh, I, I obviously have a kid that's going through it and I and I see it now. And he plays like, everything. Well, he plays every sport, but it it's all making him a better and better football player without him actually having to do a whole lot of football. I don't know if that makes sense. No, it right? makes me a hundred percent. I agree a hundred percent. But he um but like if I don't have him out there dribbling basketballs all the time, yeah, goes away. all the time, and then we go and play a game, you know, uh, uh two weeks from now and he hasn't done a ton of that, he won't look as sharp in basketball. So it's one of these uh um, think that with football, every sport helps you as a football player because football is a sport that general, even at the lineman level, right? Mm -hmm. General athleticism, power, speed, and and change of direction, all that kind of stuff, which you can get in a lot of other sports in the off season, all contribute to being a better football player. Whereas, um, if if I'm a baseball player, you know if I'm not taking my swings in the batting cage, that's, that's, that's a difficult thing. And I think that that's one of the, now what I've heard coaches at the college level in those sports say mm -hmm. that the reason why they don't want them specializing in just baseball from the time they're little is that as they hit puberty, when they hit puberty, the fact that all they've done is work those same oh, muscles. Yeah. Yeah limits their upside in baseball or even lacrosse or bat, uh, even uh, 